Number 17. Pollution. Natural resources. In our daily life, we use so many things given by nature. They are called natural resources. Some natural resources are used in large amount or being polluted by human activities. So we should use them with great care and also avoid their wastage. Natural resources. All of us need clean air and water. Air and water are natural resources. However, the air and water in our environment may not be pure. They may be polluted. What is a pollutant? It is anything that changes the environment and has a harmful effect on living things. The action of making the air, water, etc. dirty and dangerous is called pollution. Air Pollution The mixing of undesirable substances in pure air is called air pollution. The undesirable substances may be smoke, dust or harmful gases. Air pollution causes many diseases like asthma and lung cancer. The dust and dirt in the air also cause damage to the plants. Factories give out smoke and other poisonous gases. The smoke from buses and lorries add more pollutants to the air. All these things harm our lungs. Have you seen cars getting pollution check at petrol pumps? This makes sure that they do not give out harmful gases. In some cities, buses and scooters run on CNG. This is a kind of gas which burns well and does not give out many harmful pollutants. Scientific Facts Polythene bags are a major cause of pollution. Say no to polythene bags. Water Pollution Many of our water bodies today have become polluted. Most rivers today are polluted by sewage and industrial waste. Sometimes people bathe and wash clothes and utensils in rivers and lakes. This also pollutes the water. The polluted water may contain harmful substances or germs which can make us sick. We may get serious stomach upsets and diseases like jaundice, cholera, etc. by using this water. Getting rid of waste. What can we do to protect the environment? Every home needs to get rid of vegetable peels, cooked food, leaves, empty containers, papers and plastic. The stuff we throw away is often collected by garbage collectors. The materials like vegetable peels, cooked food, leaves from the garden and paper of different kinds are called biodegradable waste. It can be burned in a pit where it will rot and decompose. This decomposed material is also called compost and it can be used as a manure or fertilizer for the plants. Items made of metal, glass, rubber and plastic of all kinds will not decompose. They are non-biodegradable. They are usually sold for recycling. Metals can be melted, cleaned and made again into other useful objects. Some types of glass can also be melted and recycled. Plastics do not usually decompose if they are buried in a pit. They remain as they are, unchanged for many, many years. Creative people use many kinds of throwaway materials to make useful objects. However, only a very small part of the material we throw away is reused like this. More often, it forms enormous heaps of garbage collected and piled up just outside the cities. Getting rid of it is an enormous problem. Pollution-free earth. We can keep our earth clean and pollution-free by flowing some useful tips. We must not waste water. We should conserve energy in our home. We must plant trees to reduce air pollution. We must recycle newspaper and gift bags by reusing them. Always dispose waste materials in dustbin carefully. Smoking can seriously damage health. Thus, ask elders not to smoke. Scientific Fact 5th June is celebrated every year as the World Environment Day.